500 grams of sugar and some water only to melt the sugar at the beginning. But now we show all the raw materials together. What is important to do is to start the rotation of the motors, in this case it's one, and uh, start the heating system also on one and adjust on the thermal regulators. You see here the video. We put normally the maximum temperatures only to be sure to arrive finally and quickly to the temperature that it's used to start the recipe. Normally the fan must be 220 degrees and uh, mo the most important thing is to have a sort of uh, tools like that, that is a larger gun, only to see the temperatures inside. Now it's 220 so it's time to put the dry fruit inside. Now we, we put the dry fruits. And uh, the first idea is to start with the dry fruits inside the pan only to remove the humidity from the fruits. So now we are loading. And, uh, as you can see, it starts the fumes because there is the water that is coming out from, uh, in this case, from peanuts, could be, for example, hazelnuts or cashews or other problems like that. And normally, after two minutes, uh, we had the sugar inside to start the coating with the sugar. Now we wait another one minute and a half. After two minutes we had the sugar inside, in this case it's 500 grams and together with the sugar we put some water only to help the melting of all the raw materials together. From now we calculate the um, time normally starting from 10 to 15 minutes. Sometimes could be arriving also 20 minutes depending on the raw materials, the dry fruit and also on the color that you need to do uh, for the final product because more brown it means more caramelized and it means more time or less color I mean more white is something that is uh, with the minimum time for coffee. on coating are that now there is the melting time of the sugar so you can see that uh, in this case the peanuts are attaching together with the sugar on the pan and as soon as it starts to do a sort of rotation it is fluent it means that uh, all the water the humidity from the sugar is coming out and it starts the caramelization
important thing to produce this kind of coating glass is to use an extractor fan for removing the flame, not the flame, the fumes for, from the humidity. In this case, we are inside our Nemia Futec laboratory. We don't, we don't have an extractor fan, but we are opening only the door. In this case, we use 1 kg of peanuts and 500 kg of sugar only to be easy on the calculation because normally, in this case, the raw materials are uh, divided in this way. The, um, 70 percent is uh, the dry fruit and 30 percent is the uh, sugar in this case. It could be more or less using a little bit more sugar means maybe stay a little bit more time on cooking because it need time to melt more sugar Also use the same recipe to add the other flavors. For example, there is a customer that at the end use some salt, some chili, and uh, they had these tasting uh, raw materials at the end before uh, extractor, before uh, discharge from the pan. Someone, for example, used to put some sesame inside to coat, for example, with the almonds and to do something like almonds plus sesame. And it's really tasty. This one, this recipe is done in the same way. We are using almonds and uh, coating with the sugar. And after that, we are putting some sesame inside only to coat, but it's more or less last minute before uh, discharging from the machine. It's 
7 minutes and 20 seconds and uh, you can also see from uh, the color that is coming out from the peanuts that is showing here that it start to be brown from now from to 10 15 minutes the color it becomes more brown Charge the machine, there is an easy rotation. And we put all the badge on the stainless steel tray. The important thing is to spread out all the product, they don't stuck, they don't touch together. And after that, you should add some water only to clean the internal pan of copper. After that, all the peanuts would be placed in a, for example, marble table or stainless steel table to cool and after they are normally put in bags like uh, vertical bags or something like that. Difference from color, for example, are from uh, on your left from the beginning of the caramelization and on the right with more caramelization. With more brown, it's more time on cooking, maybe other two or three minutes. 